So this is part two of the sum of products expressions tutorial and I'm going to do another example of converting a truth table into SOP form. First of all what we're going to do is um, identify each line. So each line that has a high output will be part of the expression. And the second thing is, is once we've identified the, all the lines that are high, we're going to look at the values of each one of the variables for that for that line. So if if the variable if one of the if a variable in the line uh, the, if the variable in that row is low, then we want to invert the variable. Or use the use the complementary form of the variable. So if the variable was x, we would invert it. We'd use not x. And if the var in the row is high, then you just use the variable as is in, in your, your product expression. So if our variable was x and it was a high for that particular row, we would just use x. And then combine combine all the variables by adding them together. This is the product form. And then the third thing is combine combine the anded expressions or the, the products by oring them all together. Okay, so there's really there's only three steps and they're fairly straightforward simple steps. So one more simple example. Let's say we've got a truth table here, just a two input, two variables E and F and we've got some output G. So we've got E and F going into some black box G, or some black box and outputting G. And we've got four possible combinations of inputs, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And for this particular black box, our output combination is going to be 0, 1, 1, 0. So we want to identify each one of the rows that's a high or a 1 then look at the the input variable values whether see whether they're 0 or 1 so if it's a 0 we invert it like we do for the e's a 0 so the e's inverted and then that gets anded with the f and the f is not is a 1 so it's not inverted and then for this row we've got e and f also the e is a 1 so it's not inverted and f input is a 0 so it is inverted so now we've got our two product expressions. And then we're going to and the two product expressions together to give us the, the sum, the, the so-called sum of the products. So our black box is no longer a black box, and it's and the output G is is a one if e is a 0 and f is a 1, or if e is a 1 and f is a 0. I'm going to run out of room on the screen here, so I'm going to clear again, and I'm going to rewrite that expression. Not e and f, or e not f is equal to g. So if we were to do, draw this in logic gates, we've got e, and we're going to split it So we've got an E expression there and a not E expression there. And F, 
and we'll do the same. So we've got F inverted there and F there. And then our product terms are two AND gates. So the top AND gate is going to be not E and F. So not E will connect to that AND gate there. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Not EX connects to that AND gate, and F also connects to that AND gate. And then down here, E connects to that AND gate. Sorry for the not straight line. And not F connects to that AND gate. So there's our product. And the output of the product comes into an OR gate to create our sum. And there's our output G. So, so that truth table that we had before, we can convert into this sum of products expression. And then we can convert that sum of products expression into a logic circuit. And I hope this, this helps you in your understanding of sum of products expression and converting truth tables into Boolean, Boolean expressions. And if you have any, any questions, you can ask your instructor.